I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy Podcast, episode number 351. Welcome. Well, I have uh, several finished objects to show you this week, and just two works in progress because I was spending time finishing up some projects. So uh, let's get started, and I'll show you what I got done and what I'm working on. Okay, so the first one is the log cabin blanket. Um, I've been working on it here and showing on my Thursday videos for quite a while, and I did finish it. So it, it oh, dropped something. <laughs> anyway, it, it turned out to be about 36 inches square. I could have gone more and made it bigger, but I decided, because I think every every round I would do, I would increase it four inches. So uh, I I could have made it to forty inches, but I thought, oh, it's not it's a nice size for a child blanket, you know. And so uh, anyway, I want to show you. Ta da! <laughs> Love the colors. I think it's bright and cheery, and I think um, yeah, it'd be good for a child's blanket this size. So uh, what I did as far as the border, I don't even know if it's because I have a tutorial on this here on on my channel for right and left handed versions both, and it was called the Patriotic Log Cabin Black Gan. Not my pattern, but I got permission to do the tutorial uh, by the designer Roberta Dooley. Well, I um, and I'll link those tutorials down below in the description box. But anyway. So this one, I just changed up the colors. I followed the pattern just like the tutorial. Uh, I did not go back to my tutorial to see what the the what I had done on the border. I think I just did like a single crochet border. But I th what I did for this one is I uh, because you pick out five colors and uh, but there's only four sides. So each each time you go all the way around, you're only using four of the colors and then you rotate you know the order of them. For the next round and so the last round had um used all four of the colors except for the green and so that's why i used the green for the border because there wasn't any green in the previous round round of bars and so i thought that would that would that i should use that <laughs> and so what i did is i just uh went around i i joined it where i was going to join it like i was going to do the next round of bars and i just um did a granny stitch and i did it all the way around just one time you know around and in the corners i did three double crochet chain two three double crochet kind of a basic granny stitch uh, corner and then I decided once I got around it that one time with the granny stitch I decided to do a round of single crochets in each stitch and then in the corners I did three single crochets for that and so that's how I finished it up Now I did take a picture of it all laying out so let me go ahead and I'll pop that in right here so there it is <laughs> and so yeah I'm so happy to have it done and I was able to use up well I didn't use up any complete skeins, but I was able to use a good amount of some of my yarn. So that's good. And so, yeah. So there. Okay. So that is finished object number one is the log cabin blanket. So I will put it right here on this box. So the next finished object is another blanket. And this is the Victoria's German Shells blanket. It is the blanket I've been working on on my Wednesday videos, the Crafting with Friends. And so uh, when I do a project with the Crafting with Friends series, then when I have the project finished, I do go ahead and show it here on the regular Thursday videos as well when it's finished. So I fit finish that. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Allergies. The oat pollen is outrageous. <laughs> so anyway, let's go. <laughs> let's go on. Okay. <laughs> so this is the finished object. I will hold it up. I think it turned out great. I'm really happy with it. Um, I did not, I just kind of stopped it at one of the repeats. I didn't put the, the Pico border on it that, that the pattern talked about, uh, because well, one thing, I followed a tutorial for this, and this is Jonna Martinez. I will link it down below in the description box. Well, on the tutorial, she did not, um, she did not give the, the tutorial part for the Pico border for some reason. And so I decided, and now it is, she has a, um, PDF available that you can pay for and buy the written pattern if you want to. I just followed the tutorial and, um, 
so I didn't put the Pico border on it, but I think it looks fine. Uh, it does lay, lay flat and looks good, I think. Um, so anyway, I used um, Lion Brand Ice Cream Yarn, in uh, that, which is a DK weight, number three weight. And I used a four millimeter hook. And uh, I used um, of the 100 gram, 100 gram skeins of it. I had four and I used three to all three whole skeins and a piece of the fourth one, like maybe a third of it, maybe. I'm not sure. I have quite a bit of it left of, of that skein. I didn't weigh it um, to see. I'm going to put my watch on silent. Okay. <laughs> uh, I didn't weigh it to see, but um, it seems like it's a pretty good amount left. So anyway, I'm finished with that. And so this one and the log cabin blanket was um, on my list, my to-do list for... Um, blankets that I wanted to make for 2024. So I'll pop in a picture right here. I took a picture of this blanket all laid out on the floor so you can see that. So here it is right there. <laughs> so there it is finished. Yay. <laughs> so yeah, it's really pretty. I really like this. Okay. So that is my, um, Finish object number two. I'll put that down there. Okay, and then while I had the that Lion Brand ice cream yarn on my wool genie, because that's what I was using it when I was working off of the skeins. Since I still had it on there, I was like, I'm gonna. Um, well, actually, I was thinking I'll I'm going to um, go ahead and use up that skein, making different things. Well, I made one item, and then I went on to something else. So I may get go back because I've got that skein in there on my desk. And I may um, keep making stuff with it just to use it up. But anyway, I found this pattern. It's actually a backpack. Well, I made it into a backpack, buddy. But it is a um, tutorial by Sweet Softies here on YouTube. I'll put that link to that down below in the description box. I don't, I think she calls it a goldfish. Mine's not gold because I used the pink, uh, not the pink, <laughs> the purple ice cream yarn. But anyway, I made this frilly fish. <laughs> and then, like I said, I turned it into a, um, I turned it into a backpack buddy by putting a little clip on it. But isn't it pretty? It's got this fancy tail. And I really like the way the patterning went, uh, the patterning effect of the of that ice cream yarn it started light colored here in the front and then it gradually goes to the dark it just worked out just perfect where the dark was on the tail dark color was on the tail so yeah <laughs> there is my frilly fish that's what i call it because it has a frilly tail <laughs> but anyway uh yeah backpack buddy Yay. <laughs> so I, I just followed the tutorial. So yeah, it was, it was, whoops, it was pretty easy. Yeah. And I don't think I had the, see, I don't think I had the fins quite in the right position. Kind of had to stretch it um, because you just kind of have to eyeball it as far as where to put the, the bottom fins because you crochet them right onto the pattern. And there's, there's no sewing involved because all of this is just crocheted, you know, as you, as you went, you started at the tip of the nose and then you just went and then as you're closing up the part after you stuff it after you're closing the body up that's when you're making the tail so it's really it's a really interesting pattern and then you just uh attach your yarn you know you kind of find the center down the back of the uh, fish and you attach the yarn crochet the fin on the dorsal fin and then the bottom two flippers or whatever you do that the same and so they're off just a little bit but that's okay <laughs> that adds character to it so anyway there is my fish backpack buddy i will put this uh i need to start i don't know if i've made any this year yet so i have to start a collection of backpack buddies i guess um put those together um because they i would assume they're going to amber for a garfield um make along like I did last year and the year before. Uh, I haven't talked to her yet to see if she's still doing that, but uh, I'm going to set a little items aside for that purpose just in case. <laughs> okay, 
So let's see. The only other works and oh, the only finch object I have is the elephant. And I showed you the elephant last week, and the only thing I didn't have done on it, I think, is the tail. And then I didn't don't know if I wanted to put the tusks on it. Well, I ended up not putting the tusks on, but I did put the tail on. Uh, but uh, if you watched yesterday's video, you know that I went to a baby shower this past Saturday, and I decided to put that elephant. Uh, into as part of the baby shower gift because the elephant was so sweet and so cute and it was just looking at me <laughs> you know like oh you know put me in the gift package and so I did <laughs> but I did take some pictures of the elephant before I um packaged it up and so here's a couple of pictures I was taking different pictures trying to pose it cute and so here is a couple of pictures here's the first picture right here so there it is showing the elephant and uh, this is a tutorial by Rhonda Butler here on YouTube. I'll link it down below in the description box. It's a long tutorial, like three hours. But what it is, is because it's like a crochet with me. Uh, she really doesn't edit a lot. Some of it, she'll tell you, you have to go back to like do another leg or whatever, you know. But but basically, or most, most of it is where she's doing it stitch by stitch with you. Which is really good, especially if you are a beginner and, and you need that, you know, visually. Okay, so that was the first picture of that elephant. And then I had to take this one because this one, I thought I posed it really cute. And so this is, I here's another picture of it. <laughs> I had to show you that one. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Oh, so cute. So I would like to make another one, I think. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to make another one, but I'm going to make the pink version this time with the pink feet and inside the ears being pink. Um... That is possibly an upcoming item because I've already got, I still got the gray, uh, ch not chenille, it's retro velvet, it's called. I still have it on my desk in there, the gray. And so um, I might be starting that soon. <laughs> so anyway, so that is my all my finished objects. And then going on to works in progress, I worked on the, uh, well, um, it's April now. And so that means the next month, is the pattern is out for the checking to see what Teddy's doing uh, for the under the sea crochet along that repeat crafter me is having. And, you know, I had done the square ahead of time, just getting ready for the applique. And so she did release the applique for the next square and it is a crab. And so let me go ahead. I'll pop in there. This is her picture. I haven't done mine yet. Well, I'm, I'm doing it, but I haven't finished it yet. But anyway, that's what it's going to look like right here. Okay, isn't that cute? Oh, so uh, I started working that on that yesterday, and I have the body. <laughs> He's on a piece of plastic. Okay, <laughs> uh, I have the body right here. I think that's the back side. Yeah, right here. See, so these here's the legs. You got three legs on that side and three legs on this side. I think they are. I don't know if they're twisted. I have to. I have to pose them because this one really turned out to be like a hook. And this one over here didn't do that. <laughs> anyway, and then you got these stalks at the front. I think the outer ones, these right here, I'm going to attach the uh, claws to, which I've made one. I need to make the other one and then attach them. And then the eyes will be attached to these two stalks right here. I haven't made the eyes yet. But anyway, there it is. And I've already got the square. Uh, I'll give you an update on the squares. Uh, I already have the square ready right here to oh it's going to take up a lot of the square um yeah to sew on so that that was this is one it'll be going on uh and just as a reminder i'll go ahead and show you my other ones because i'm i think they're really cute <laughs> so here was last month's square which was the jellyfish square okay and then uh february square was the seahorse <laughs> and then this is january square the starfish <laughs> super cute so these are really turning out really cute. Uh, so yeah, crab square. <laughs> and so uh, I will go ahead and finish this, get it sewed on and go ahead probably and make the square for next month's uh, May square. And then, then I will be, you know, ready and I'll just have to do the applique for it like I'm doing now. <laughs> so anyway, that air, let me put that back in the bucket. <laughs> that is uh, my finished object. No, finished. Works in progress number one. Okay. 
And then the only other thing I have is since I finished the log cabin blanket. Oh, and then since I finished the Victoria's German Shells blanket for crafting with friends, I have started a my next blanket, which is a baby blanket. And so if you want to watch the progress of that, then check out my Wednesday videos, the crafting with friends videos. Okay. And now since I finished the log cabin blanket, which was, I've been doing it for my Thursday videos and showing you, I was like, well, I need to start another one. So I mean another blanket. And so I looked on my list that I have for this, the blankets that I wanted to make for 2024. And so I looked on there, picked out another one off of that list. And so, uh, I decided to work me off, I'll tell you and show you the blanket first, and then I will show you what color I'm going to be using. Okay, so I decided to do the diagonal chevron lapgan. I think that's what it's called. Uh, it's, a, it's a corner to corner, though. Yeah, diagonal. <laughs> so corner to corner, uh, diagonal chevron. And I've never, I mean, I've done corner to corner blankets before, but I've never done one that was a zigzag one. I don't think so. And so here's the picture of it right here. Okay. So as you can see in this one picture, that is, oh, and the website is called a crocheted simplicity. Yeah, and I will link it down below in the description box uh, where you can find the pattern. It's free on her website, okay? And so I saw that. That's the picture I saw. And you can see in that picture, it has white for the zigzag stripes and then just a solid color background. It was like a blue or navy blue. Well, I thought about doing that, but then um, I've got... I don't know if you can... I don't know if you can see it. I'll turn you a little. You probably can see it already, but I'll turn you a little bit. Okay. So see right there, there. Yeah, that cubby. I've got a lot. <laughs> I've got a lot of the, um, um, what is that? Red Heart Super Saver stripes. And so I've got a couple, I had a couple of jumbos and two or three smaller skeins of the same colorway of this one colorway over there. And so I was like, I wonder what that would look like. And it doesn't have any white in those stripes, all the colors that are in that skein. And so I thought I'll use white for the zigzag stripe part, but then I'll use that Super Saver stripes for the other part instead of a solid color. And I started it and I, I was like, well, I'll, I'll, I'll see what it looks like first, and then I will, oops, sorry, hit a piece of plastic here, made a big noise. Okay, so I thought I'll start a little bit of it, see how I like the way it's, those colors are coming out, and then I will decide if I want to use that, or I'm trying to not lose stitches, yeah, to see if I wanted to use that or not. And so I, I worked on it a little bit last night, and I decided that I do want to use this self super saver stripes yarn because it's really turning out pretty cool, I think. So the the color I've got, I see it was this one. This is called Polo Stripe. I have two of the jumbo skeins. I have one here, one in my bucket. But then back there I have there's at least three of the standard size ones, which is like I don't know what they are. They're three and a half ounces. I don't know. It's the smaller ones, not the jumbos. Yeah. The jumbos are, I think, seven ounces. Uh, let's see. No, ten ounces. Sorry about that. I almost yawned. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Been a long day. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, these are ten ounces. I've got two of these, and then I've got three, at least, I think there's three of them back there, of the, the other ones, the other size, I think they're what, I don't know, <laughs> three and a half ounces maybe, I don't know, but anyway, I've got a lot of this, and so I think I'll have enough. So this is what I'm using, I'm using just, this is just Red Heart Super Saver in white, I'm using for the stripes, and this is how it's coming out so far. Okay, so it's corner to corner, so it, it's working from the bottom corner. And I've got one stripe in there so far. Let me see if I need to hold it in the right place. Okay, so there it is. So this down here, that is going to be the bottom corner, either that way or this way, however you want to, want to picture it, because it's double-sided. But anyway, so yeah. And then see, this is, this is, I'm just following the instructions, but this is kind of how the decreasing, I mean, the decreasing, no, the increasing works, which I've never done this before. So it's very interesting. 
but you do back and forth. Um, and I'm just following, you know, what she has on the stitches. I should hold it. It's like, it looks better this way. Anyway, <laughs> I think it's, I think it's cool. Right now it looks like a fox, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just following the stitches. Um, I had to put, uh, markers it's e it's good to put markers here because that's where you're having like an increase at the points where you're doing a single crochet chain one single crochet and so i'm marking that chain one because for some reason sometimes it's kind of hard for me to find that chain one between the two stitches and so i marked it and then that and this is going to be this is another one this is another chain one thing <laughs> uh the increase um yeah one on either end so i've got markers where those are and then of course right now you've just got this one decrease but then right here this right here in that little bottom of the v that that will be decrease decreases also yeah decreases and then they'll be increasing it going down that way i think anyway it's not too bad the pattern you just got to follow it you know and i've got my row counter because i need to keep track of what row i'm on and i'm on row 16 i think I wrote it down. I think I'm on row 16. Um, they're all single crochets, though. That's the only thing. Um, I think I've made a chevron blanket before, and they, yeah, and they were uh, double crochets, which makes it uh, more drapey. These are single crochets, so they're little. It's a little stiff, but I know that Red Heart Super Saver, when you wash it, it will soften up. Um, it called for a six and a half millimeter hook, which is a size K. But I don't like to use size K. For one thing, the hooks are always pretty heavy uh, when you use a size K. And so I just decided to not use the K. I'm using a J, which is a six millimeter. So I am using one hook down smaller. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, the original the original size was going to be pretty big. And I don't, I didn't want it to be that big. Yeah. So anyway, I think it'll be okay. Um, I just... Yeah, but I think I think the the, uh, the way that you have to count and then you have to make sure you move your markers and the fact that the color is changing and then you have these stripes that you put in ever so often. Some of them are just one single row and then some of them are a thicker stripe of the white. I think that will give enough interest to me that I won't get so tired of making just uh, single crochets all the time and that's it, you know just all single crochet. So I think, I think it'll be good, but, uh, I, it's going to be cool. I think anyway, so there is that my new pat, my new uh, blanket. Uh, I will link it down below in the description box where you can find the pattern. If you, anybody want to do it along with me or just follow my progress on it. <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's it. That's all I've been working on. I really wanted to get those two blankets finished, and I got them finished. Yay. <laughs> and, and um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, upcoming tomorrow is the, um, the Loopy Lamb Crochet Along, which is that dinosaur. My hair is just doing all kinds of stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, the Loopy Lamb Crochet Along I've been talking about for a few weeks. It starts tomorrow. So that'll be the dinosaur. So I need to, I haven't picked my green out yet. I talked about it last week. I still haven't done it. So I need to find some green. I have a pretty good amount. I may do it in spring green because I still have, try not to cause an avalanche here. I still have quite a bit of the spring green. So I might use that because this always makes a good dinosaur color <laughs> and uh, go with that, I think. Um, so that is coming up starting tomorrow. And of course, I, this is a new month, April, and so that means that I have hats to make, preemie hats to make for this month. I think I'm going to be making um, a couple more of the Mickey Mouse hats. You know, I showed you that one last week, the Mickey Mouse, which was the fourth hat for March. Well, I want to do the mini version, and I might, you know, like Mickey and Minnie, <laughs> I might do uh, like two of each, like two Mickeys and two Minnies. And if I do that, I've already done one Mickey, that would be three right there of my four for this month. So I might do that, and then uh, I'll pick a, pick a fourth one. But those are just really quick and pretty, pretty easy. Yeah, pretty easy to make, and uh, I think they're cute, and so I think maybe I'll do that. <laughs> okay, um... 
So that's upcoming is some more hats. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I picked out a few items with from a new craft day. They were wanting to collaborate with me again. So I did pick out like four items and I haven't gotten confirmation as far as if they've they think those items are okay and then they approve it and, and send them or tell me that they've sent them or whatever. I haven't heard back. So it'll be a few weeks, you know, before those come in. But one of them is a paint paint by number kit. And I haven't had a paint by number. I haven't done a paint by number since I was a child, probably. And uh, it's a small one. It's like 20, millim 20 by 20, but it's millimeters. And so it, that's less. That's what, what's that? 10 inches square or something. Because I know 30 by 30 is 12 inches square so i'm thinking 10 inches square maybe i don't know something anyway um i just thought i would pick a small one you know not real intimidating and and we'll see we'll see what their paint by number kits look like so i picked that and i picked three more items and now i can't remember what they are i think the diamond painting yeah one of them is a it's a valentine's one you know i picked out a um that stand up decoration for Easter, the bunnies that were in the basket and it was a, like a freestanding, had a stand at the bottom, freestanding stands up. Well, I, I've been thinking that it would be good to collect some of those that stand on their own. You don't have to worry about hanging anything. You don't have to worry about getting a frame to fit it, you know? And so I, I had that one for Easter already. And so I picked out one, this one I think would be really cute to put for Valentine's for next year. Uh, but to have, you know, part of my decor. So anyway, so I picked that out. And then uh, I think I do have a Christmas one already. And then, um, and then I've got that squirrel that I picked out from previously uh, that I will probably use for the fall. But anyway, yeah. And then I don't remember what else I picked. That was four items. I don't remember what the other ones were. It'll be a surprise for you and I. Oh, uh, some keychains, I think. Yeah. And then I don't know what the third, fourth one. Anyway, it'll be a while before I get to show you. Um, and that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess I'll go because uh, I'm just chatting and visiting. My hair is driving me crazy right now for some reason. It is. I got a mind of its own. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go. So everybody have a wonderful weekend coming up. And um, I have to film some more of Tuesday Tidbits, that dinosaur tutorial, because I haven't filmed any more of it yet. I still need to do that. Hopefully I'll be able to work on that. If not tomorrow, maybe Sunday or something. I don't know. But I mean, it'll be posted on Tuesday for Tuesday Tidbits. The next installment of that tutorial will be posted and then, of course, we'll have Crafting with Friends on Wednesday. And then, you know, the schedule will continue. <laughs> I don't think I have an extra video. Um, no, I don't think so. So, anyway, everybody have a wonderful weekend. And we will see you next week in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>